Hey football fans, welcome back to Football News Center. Today, we've got a story that has got everyone talking. Sunderland Football Club has found themselves in a bit of a sticky situation after a major blunder at their stadium. You see, the Black Cats Bar, which was supposed to be used by away fans during the upcoming FA Cup tie against Newcastle United, was decorated with Newcastle slogans. Yes, you heard that right. The rival team's slogans were plastered all over the bar. Pictures of the bar with signs saying, Keep the black and white flying high and We Are United started circulating before the time where Derby even took place. Talk about rubbing salt in the wound. Well, needless to say, Sunderland quickly realized their mistake and issued an apology for what they called a serious error in judgment. They promised to return the bar to its original state and acknowledge the concern voiced by their fans. But let's not forget the reaction from the football community. Former Sunderland striker Marco Gabbiadini described the whole incident as embarrassing. He couldn't believe that the new owners of the club, who should know better, allowed this to happen. He even predicted that Newcastle fans would be talking about this blunder for the next 50 years. And it's not just the slogans that caused a stir. There was even a sign referencing former Sunderland manager Peter Reid, which was clearly meant to taunt the Black Cats faithful. Ouch! Now, we can only imagine the chaos that must have ensued when the news broke. Sunderland fans must have been fuming, while Newcastle supporters probably couldn't believe their luck. It's safe to say that this incident will go down in football history as one of the most bizarre and embarrassing moments. So, what do you think about this major blunder by Sunderland Football Club? Do you think it was just an innocent mistake or a deliberate act of provocation? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more football news and updates. Until next time, this is Football News Center, signing off.